Hello, this is APAD TV Admin from APAD TV and I'm going to be checking out the Tengda H05. Now this is also known as the Ibex H05. They're, they're two uh, manufacturers of this device that uh, market this device and uh, we're going to quickly unbox it and then we're going to test it out. Okay, so you've got a user manual. English user manual. Okay. I don't want to spend too long on the unboxing. Okay, we've got a nice, like a, a leathery, leathery style case here with like a nice colourful, uh, like cotton, cotton braid cloth. Looks pretty durable. Nice big durable zip on there as well. Okay, we've got the unit itself. This one's the brown one. I mean, they all look really nice, the different colours, the pink, the brown and the white I've uh, come into contact with, and they've all been nice. Okay, and there's the, there's the unit itself. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna power that on while, and that can be booting while we check out what else is in the box. Okay, that's loading up now, so we'll put that there. Okay, we'll see what else we've got in here. Got a long box full of items. We have first off. Okay, we've got a, a USB micro USB to U, USB host cable. Now I've tested this and what this is for, and you can basically plug in USB devices, so it saves having a large USB port on here because you can plug other things at home to transfer over and so on. Okay, the device is pretty much booted. Okay, so you've got the, the cable there. Let's see what else is in the box. Okay, standard 5 volt uh, power supply. Let's just see what connectors on the end. Okay, we've got a nice compact connector at the end there for keeping the device nice and slim. They didn't go for like a big chunky uh, loose connector. It's a nice. Uh, it's, it's a very nice fit as well. I plugged that in when I charged the unit earlier. There's a different one from another device. A, a different uh, H05 I was using. Okay, we've got a standard USB, micro USB to USB cable. Okay. Okay, and that's it. And then we've got a pair of headphones. And these headphones are microphone and headphone. You've got a little clip on the headphone as well. They look pretty decent. Good little headphones. They're the rubber type, so they'll fit comfortably in your ear. Not the hard plastic type that you can sometimes get free with devices. Okay, so some now that's some patients I've put on there. Now we've got a simple game I downloaded, and that's Glow Hockey. I see that one now, and then I can uninstall it. Now the aspect ratio is different on the on glow hockey. We can still see it good though. If we turn it around like so. Check the focus there. I hope oh, that focus is okay. Okay, free version is fine. Now the speaker is quite loud on this device. It's uh, it's quite a loud speaker in there. It's really good for music and games. And If you want to watch films on there, you can easily hear the voices on the film. Okay, I'm going to try this out with a mouse. Oh, I mean, that's pretty smooth. Oh, well, just chopped my own head off there. there it's a bit tricky with the mouse, actually. <laughs> At least take a little bit of practice. Oh, the, the AI is not bad. Wow, I've scored all his goals so far. Yeah, I'll get the next one. Okay, it plays pretty well. I mean, it's it's fitted to the screen perfectly. There we go, I got, well, I'd, I said I'd get the next goal, didn't I? So, there we go. <laughs> okay, well that's, that's enough of that, that plays perfectly. Just a simple little game. Let's see what other games we've got. Okay, so if I press the home button, we can go straight back Okay, out. we're just gonna check out one of the, the built-in games here. In, that's built into the, the HO3, the HO5, sorry. There we go, just get the focus right. Okay, so we've got, uh, one of the building games is uh, Cadillacs and Dinosaurs. It's a classic arcade uh, game that's running on the emulator. 
You can insert the coin there and start it up. And go use the A button. Okay, okay we can skip through this. Okay, the control pad there I'm using on the left side. You can control him. Have the childhood memories with these old games. You can put other applications on here, other games as well. It plays very fluidly. This will handle. Uh, this will handle more intense games than this as well. This built-in one is uh, is just an example, really. That's already built in, so I thought it was better to show you the built-in games than other ones. But I mean look, it just plays perfectly. Look, I'm just trying to find what button it is to pick up. There we go. There we go. Bang, bang, bang. There he's gone. And there we go. There's uh, Cadillacs and Dinosaurs on the Ibex H05. And uh, this goes through the other parts of the video. I'll just go through the specs. The, the, the IBEX H05 has got an 800 by 480 screen. It's running Android 4. It's got an MTK6515 Cortex A9 1 GHz processor. It's got Bluetooth. It's got dual SIM standby and telephone operation. It's got dual cams. And now the, the dual SIM standby is a uh, quad band, so it'll work anywhere in the world. Right, well, pretty much anywhere. Dual cams, front and back. The GPUs are PowerVR SGX531, which is uh, a very powerful uh, GPU. So it's the power, it's the powerful GPU that all of the, the top tablets are using at the moment. Now the RAM is 512 megabyte DDR3. The ROM is 512 megabyte of internal system storage ROM. It's got a capacitive seven-inch screen, which is a five-point touch screen. And uh, it's got the Play Store built in as standard. I'm just going to pop the brightness up for the video. It's got a, it's got a great screen. So it's very bright, and uh, even on the lowest brightness setting, it's it's a very usable uh, screen. Let me just go to the settings. But for the video, I like to to pop the brightness up here. Good brightness. Oh oh, it's already on. Oh, it's already on full. That's why it's so bright. But uh, yeah, it's very clear. It's pretty, it's pretty bright in here. I should mention also in this room. There's a lot of sun coming in. Right, okay, now uh, for, the, for this, this part of the video I want to do a test and that is um, I'm just going to play back off USB flash drive even though you can uh, store plenty on the TF card that you put in the TF card slot what we're going to do is we're just going to put a little 8 gig USB drive standard USB drive on the little uh, attachment cable that goes straight in underneath here and I've got some video files on there we're going to test out. Okay, so let's go to uh, File Explorer. Okay, so we get external USB storage. Okay, HL5. We've got a COPS TV show we downloaded. They're, they're about 200, nearly 200 megabytes each. They're MP4s. We're going to see how it, how it looks. And we're going to be playing them with the, there's the built in player, plays them fine, but MX player player of choice at the moment. Also has a uh, hardware playback support in MX Player. Okay, now it's got nice loud volume. I mean, you can see it just looks perfect. I'm trying to get the angle because it's just so bright. Okay, and there we go. There's this cops playing from a from a MP4. You can play AVI files, MKVs, FLAX. You, you, it will play every type of file you can throw at it, this device. Okay. Now, usability-wise, it's got a built-in FM radio. If you plug headphones in, you can use uh, all FM frequencies and listen to music and talk radio and stuff. Um, you've got a built-in TV player as well, analog TV. So it's got a little uh, aerial that slips out here. 
and there we go. And now the good thing about the, the analog TV I like is very international. See now here, if you go to menu, you can change your orientation around. Here like this. Now, in this location I'm at in China now, there's not really any analog TV because it's, uh, it's in Shenzhen and uh, the signal's not particularly good because I'm between two mountains. Uh, but if you go to the menu, if you set the region, see like China SZ, which is Shenzhen, you can go through, you've got Argentina, Western Europe, Turkey, United Arab Emirates, Afghanistan, Singapore, Thailand, Cambodia, Indonesia. You've got so many locations where they've tuned the, the reception for, um, for analog TV. So you'll be able to pick up your analog TV wherever you are with this portable device. That's another little bonus feature there that does work very well gives a very good crisp picture and uh, with this orientation it's quite a big screen as well easily big enough perfect portable size really you don't want it bigger than this and uh, it's really really a good size you got it everywhere Senegal, Unisia, Guyana, Suriname, Ecuador, Ireland, Austria, Belgium, Czech, Denmark you just got so many uh, so many locations I mean you can keep going as well so so you can set up the analog uh, receiver analog TV receiver to, to be tuned for that particular region and there we go and you can just just go up and down through the channels okay channels and it can auto search as well if you go to menu you can scan it goes through scans them all Okay, we don't want to wait for that. It's pretty quick though. It scans through them pretty quick. Okay, so we'll come out of that. That's the TV player. Now, uh, the, a very good application that works well with, uh, with this little device is uh, this app from the Play Store, Pirate Bay Downloader. You can, just, uh, you can just search. And now the good thing about this search is um, you can just type in anything you want to you watch. But you can change the proxy because now the Pirate Bay is blocked blocked in uh, many locations around the world and uh, you can just choose which proxy you want to use. In China I use proxy 2 and that works. That's, that's just for the searches, not the downloading and uh, then you can just search for stuff, choose it and just download it and, uh, and this device plays it perfectly. It's a great little device and that can download via your uh, GSM dual SIM standby SIM cards or via Wi-Fi. At the moment it's connected via Wi-Fi and uh, if, you, if you want to use disconnect the Wi-Fi and connect your put a sim there's no sim cards in there right now and put sim cards in then you just activate the data connection and uh, also it supports Bluetooth controllers as well now uh, I'm just going to show you it working with uh, one of those USB wireless mice so we just put in the little mouse transceiver There we go, and uh, if I just find my mouse, here we are. Let's turn it on. Okay, and there we go. There's there's a pointer there. It's a it's a blue pointer, so you, you can't see it clearly right now. But there we go, and we've got a mouse pointer, and we can just browse and go through the web. There we go. I'm not sure what key you use to go back on there with the mouse, but. Uh, yeah. Play Store functionality is perfect. Insert anything you want. We're on Wi-Fi right now. It's only eight, eight megabit from from China, and uh, as you can see, because I'm in China, it's pulling up some Chinese apps. But if you're searching from like the UK or South America, you're going to pull up localized apps as well. Okay, so categories, games. Okay. Install. It's, it's really a quick Play Store experience on this device. It's, uh, it's a really a great little device. This is a really good price on this as well. This HO5 for what you're getting and what you're paying. It's it's a really it's really a great deal. Okay, and there we go, and that's downloading now. And that can that can just continue downloading in the background. And we can search for other stuff. For example, if I type in MX Player, which I've already downloaded, 
I'll just click it and it says installed there. Okay. Let's come back out of that. Okay, let's go through the built-in apps. Now you've got Twitter, Yahoo, there's a SIM toolkit for adjusting your SIM card settings. Um, MX Player I've installed myself, Opera's built in, there's a voice recorder, Yiffy Torrents I've downloaded from the from the, uh, the the Play Store there, Yahoo Messenger, you've got building messenger, you've got the phone functions, you've got a Wi-Fi utility, there's a there's a planner there and the music player and the video player as well. And there's the Pirate Bay which I've downloaded from the from the Play Store. You've got Maps, Local, you've got Chrome built in internet, Fanopi I've downloaded, eBuddy's built in, file managers built in, flipboard, email, camera and calculator all built in, contacts, clock, erase the phone, and there's the FM radio, there's a built in game there, Snowman Brothers. And uh, and that's all the built-in apps there I've gone through. Yep, and then you've got the analog TV. Contacts just like you'd have on any, like Samsung phone or something. Okay, and that's, uh, that's all the built-in apps and the video playback anyway. And uh, it using a, a USB mouse if you want to, or an external keyboard. And, uh, and there we are. So uh, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. And also like this video as well. And, uh, and you can always visit the APAD.TV forum for, for technical details, firmware, and stuff like that for, for the HO5 and, and lots of other devices. So uh, thank you for watching, and, uh, and see you next time. Bye-bye.